slacken that one off. You always get a little bit of water in the pump. Hopefully we can get that out. I'm gonna try and crank these valves down a little bit more just to see if I'll stop it. It's not looking good at the moment. Handy little tool to have a little plumb chum getting onto the pump valves. If the pump valve shut off, you're laughing. It comes out straight forward. You can hear, I don't know if you can make that out, you can hear the tank filling above. It is a bit of a pain with this one, with this body on the top. You can't quite get in fully to get your grips in there. Luckily with these Ipex ones, teeth on them are quite good. Hopefully it's not going to air a lot. It's one of them things when you're draining down these systems, it can happen. So we'll let the water drain out. We'll get the pump out. Hopefully we can do it without too much fuss. So those pump valves in holding. What a pain. Right, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is doing well. Just want to say a massive shout out to all the new subscribers we've had. In the last two weeks, the subscribers have shot up. We're very, very close to that 30,000. So if you're a new subscriber to the channel, welcome aboard. I'm Mark. It's real world plumbing. This channel is all about showing everything from when it goes right to when it goes wrong, to going to the merchants, to showing things how I do it and all that sort of stuff. So I really appreciate everybody who subscribe to the channel, old subscribers, new subscribers. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything. And it just helps me be able to make a lot more content that I can put out so that you lot can enjoy it. Um, also, some of you may notice, real world plumbing on the top. So the tagline for my channel has always been real world plumbing, showing it exactly how it is. So I'm testing out a few t-shirts. There's, there's a logo on the back as well. I don't want to show you too much just yet. Got some caps coming, got some t-shirts coming, got some hoodies coming, stickers coming, all that sort of stuff. But I'm just sort of going through the final stages of exactly how I want it. So as soon as I've sort of nailed it down, I'll let you know. I'm going to do a big giveaway. Hopefully it'll be around the same time as we get to 30,000 subscribers. So I'll do a massive giveaway, give away a load of t-shirts, caps, and you know, I'll chuck some stuff in and, and whatnot. So anyway let's get on with tonight's video it's um a pump change we've all done it we've all been there we've all had a central heating pump that we've had to switch out and there's always that moment when you turn the valves off and they're either a going to shut off or b they're not you'll see in this video just what happens when i come to change this wylo pump out for the new wylo um yeah drop a comment below let me know what you think is going to happen and i'll leave it to you right i shall catch you all soon and uh if you haven't hit the subscribe button right then here we are monday morning back to it got a few little jobbing around jobs to get done this week first off we've got to change this pump for um a customer of mine to be fair new customer see me on youtube local to me contacted me and said i've got a pump to change and he's also got a uh, double check valve to change downstairs for his outside tap. He's already got the pump, to be fair, he's quite, well, he used to be quite handy at doing a little bit of DIY, but things have changed, so he wanted me to basically come out and get this done for him. So, we're gonna switch out this Wylo for this new Wylo Yonos pump. Um, they are pretty good, I've never fitted one, to be fair, but from what I've heard, they are very good. Normal sort of stuff, speed settings on the front. These have got a little air extractor button as well, so I'm not sure how, that will extract air out of it, but we'll get it fitted in and see how it works. So, handy little tool to have, a little plumb chum for getting onto the pump valves. Hopefully, as we know, when people change pumps, if the pump valve shut off, you're laughing. It comes out straight forward. We've got replacement washers there. Pop it in. Hopefully, they shut off all right, but the plumb chum is perfect for getting in there. They seem... That one seems to be shutting off all right. He says, yeah, I think that's all right. And the bottom one, I've already got, I've already got the electric off, so we're good on that front. What we always like to do though, is get the pump out and the new one in, and then sort the electrics out with it. And with this one, it comes with, you just wire that up basically, and then clip it into the side of the pump here. So. With the valve shut off, let's get the ever popular foldable bucket underneath here, like so. Got some handy blue rollers as well, just in case 
think every plum has got stacks of blue roll in the van. Um, let's crack these nuts and get this dropped out, get the electrics off it and get the other one put into position. Let's get the grips on, hopefully it'll undo all right. Yes. Slacken that one off. You'll, you always get a little bit of water in the pump. Hopefully, we can get that out. Mm. Might have spoke a bit too soon with the valves. Can hear, I don't know if you can make that out, you can hear the tank filling above. So I'm going to try and crank these valves down a little bit more just to see if they'll stop it, but it's not looking good at the moment. So let's try cranking them right in. Empty that. So those pump valves ain't holding, what a pain. So what we're gonna do is drain the heating system down. I'm gonna shoot off, get two new pairs of pump valves for there. And then we can switch, get the pump out, switch the valves out so we know we're all good for next time. And then get the pump back in. So let's go and grab some. Right then, I've been and grabbed a couple of new pump valves from Screwfix. Luckily it's just around the corner. I wanted to try and get the ones with the butterfly valves on there, just cause they, they seem to turn on and off a little bit better, but that's all they had in stock. So we've got it draining down now, got the hose on the bottom rad. We just run the risk now of airlock in the system if, you know, hope, because it's gravity fed, hopefully it's not going to airlock, but it's one of them things when you're draining down these systems, it can happen. So we'll let the water drain out, we'll get, um, get the pump out and get the new valves on and hopefully we can do it without too much fuss because it can be a bit of a pain, but Let's get it drained down first. Right then, I think we may have got it out. So, let's just take this pump off. Can hear the water shunting around the system a little bit, but I think we're about there with it. It's drained out. Yeah, I think we're alright now. So, we are, let's pop that pump in there for now and get these valves swapped out quickly before we do anything. Now, I've got some paste here. So, let's open this up and you should see the water drop, hopefully, off the top. We can hope. over tightened it now. There we go. Hopefully it's going to drop, not, not rise. Yeah, there we go. I think we're going to be okay. We'll get a little bit of water out when we swap this, take this valve off, but it is what it is. In fact, I'm going to pop 
I was going to pop and get the wet vac, but I think we're going to be alright with it. So, let's take this one off. Get the new one on. Bit of paste around there. That's right. Make sure this is off. Pop it on. Perfect. Bottom one done. Let's get this top one switched out. Let's get the other one ready. Turned off. Bit of paste around there, like so. Then get this one in. Right, there we go. That's the two valves now. Put on, shut off, and we can get the heat and fill back up. But you can see. This is, I don't know if you can make it out inside there, that was the original pump valve and I think what it's done is shut off but you can still just make out where the water was passing through through the end of it so it weren't shutting off completely but we now we've got that one on, we're all good. So we'll get a washer on the bottom there, pump, always got the arrow on it, facing up, obviously going into the system. So we'll get the bottom one on. Now I don't paste the washers up because I personally think they could, if you paste on there, you could begin to deteriorate over time. So we'll get the second one in. Here's a bit of a pain with this one, with this body on the top. You can't quite get in fully to get your grips in there but luckily with these Nipex ones the teeth on them are quite good so, so with them tightened up valves are off we're going to go and turn the water back on get the heating system filled back up open these check that's okay then we just got to disconnect the wiring off the old pump connect it into the new one so you can hear the heating system filling back up now. While that's doing that, we'll get the cable disconnected from this pump and made into, obviously through, through the bottom of there and then made into the uh, connector block here, nice and straightforward. Live neutral earth into there and it just attaches into the side of the pump there. Right, there we go, all connected into that connector block there, which clips on the side like so, it's like that, little clip into it. So there we go, that's all wired up. What we do now is make sure the heating system's full, get these pump valves open, make sure all the air's out of the system, get the air out of here, go and check all the rads are full, and we can fire it up and get this pump up and running. Right, we've got the pump up and running now. You've got various settings on these pumps, which are quite handy. The top, I don't know if you can make it out, you've got one, two, and setting three. That's like, your original, the same as on that pump, just add your three normal settings. You've also got on this one underfloor heating, so you've got a little small, medium, and large, like one, two, and three for underfloor heating. So, depending on what size underfloor heating you've got, 
you can adapt that to work with that. And you've also got normal radiators. You've got three symbols, small house, medium sized house, large house. You can see from it, it's five meters down to 2.5, 1.4. You can turn it right down, modulate it exactly how you want it. Um, and it gives you the information here. If you've got up to eight rads, 12 rads, 15 rads, you'll have it on various settings for that. This house we've got one, two, three, four, I think there's around eight, nine rads in it. Um, so we'll set that to the middle one, 2.5, 10 watts. It gives you wattage as well. Press the air, air purge button. It just sort of shifted a load of air around the system. Whether it pulses the pump or what, I'm not 100% sure. I felt the air shift round. We've got it out from this vent here. We've vented all the radiators all round. We've got the heating running now. Everything's working fine. So we'll get tidied up here and we'll pop down into the kitchen and change the double check valve that is feeding the outside tap. I think it's the inside split or something like that. Customer's got the replacement one, so we'll swap that out as well. So the central heating pump's done upstairs. We've turned the heating off now. Everything's running fine. Also on this property, we've just got to switch out. Customer's bought a double check valve because he thinks this one's playing up. Um, it's just the flow rate to the outside taps crap. And sometimes inside here, I don't know if you know, there's like a plastic check valve with a ball in and a gauze that knackers up. Um, so we're going to switch that one out for there. Hopefully we've got enough play on the pipe here to get that out. It might be a little bit fiddly, but we'll give it a go. See what we can do. So we've got the water off. Let's get some little grips in there and see. There, I've got that one. I'm going to take it off of here as well. So hopefully, see if the outside tap pipe has got a little bit of play on it. It's pretty solid actually. Whip that out. Whip that out. We'll switch this over for the new one and hopefully get it back in easy enough. Right, right, we switched the new one onto there. Let's see if we can now somehow get it back into position. Right then, I think we got it. Let's turn the water on, make sure we've got no leaks. There we go, all sorted. Check valve switched, water back on. Then the outside tap, flying out. Another little job ticked off the list.